Good morning, guys, and happy uh, Independence Day. It's uh, a good weekend, and, and I'm going to tell you something. No matter what side you're on, you have to revel in um, our country's ability to have differing ideas and still exist as a country. So, like I said, happy uh, Fourth of July. What I wanted to do is just talk about the pros and cons of LEDs. And, you know, one of the things is this, this I love this thing. But it's like, okay, how can I use it? And one of the things is I'm trying to do it underneath. Well, it's going to get in the way of my camera. Uh, the front, well, it's concave here. It's not going to really work. I'm going to probably stick this inside the case and illuminate it. It's amazing at night. Um, and so that's kind of a con. It's like, yeah, I bought something. It might have been a little too big. And uh, it may use up too much energy, but it's going to go inside this thing up inside and it's going to make this plastic model just glow um and another you know i was pretty high on these led strips yeah they're cool yeah they're covered covered in acrylic but they weigh a lot and a much better way to do it because you've got all this wire and this and is maybe one two three four um, individual LED nodes and just wire them together and that's what I think I'm gonna end up doing so this will stay on here for a while but it's probably gonna go off because it's too heavy the whole point of this is not to make it look good function and efficiency and when you're talking about a model you really need to think about weight and being that it's a brushed motor it really doesn't have as much power and you're gonna wear out the motors faster so LEDs are good when they're not too heavy and they add illumination. These are too heavy. These little guys underneath that you saw on the other ones, these things work great. There's nothing to them. There's a little bit of wire, but they're just minuscule in comparison to the weight of these. So the pros and cons, yeah, you need them, but make sure that you're weight conscious and not just buying something that looks good. And that's some, unfortunately, I've got two things on here that look great but um, are just way too much um, for a brushed system. Now, one of the things that um, I've done with this is put the altitude hold board in here, and you can see it right here. That's the old one, and the, the new one off the XW, or the HW, sorry, is in there. There's a new model out that it's the, the Biang Toys X16. Now, you guys need to check this thing out because it is very, very, very close to the X8. And, and the body styles and stuff are are very similar. They don't have the um they don't have these on there. So these side pods aren't cut, so you don't get these with that model. But it does have some fun features, return home, the altitude hold. Um, I'm not sure if that's a fake compass GPS uh, pod. Uh, I'm still trying to figure that out. Um, but I'm more interested in getting one of those for one of those and maybe buying a transmitter and sticking it in one of these. Now, this guy is the only dude that I saw opened one up. And you can see that it's very similar the chassis the center um it looks like they've just opened it up a little bit they've put some kind of board speed controllers on there but uh yeah um i'm looking to buy one of those boards and play with it and obviously i'll need the speed controllers maybe i don't know i think what i'll do is buy the board hook it up and it's 11.1 .1. so the beauty of this is that you're getting off of the 7.4 you're getting into a brush system, and um, it should be pretty cheap. That's what I'm thinking. I mean, what I'm gonna do is see how cheap all that is. If it's under 50 bucks, I'm buying the board, the speed controllers, the motors. I mean, I'm thinking this is gonna be really, really cheap. The, the, the thing is, what, what I do like about that case is there's a lot of room, but it's ugly. This is an ugly model. I gotta tell you, I hate when they do that kind of stuff. Now the Cherson CX20, very interested in, but I think that the Quantum Nova Pro is the real one to get. So that's kind of um, 
where I'm at. The LEDs are great, but they have to be weight conscious. This is a brushed motor system, so one of the problems is you really got to be weight conscious. It doesn't have a lot of thrust, and you're going to wear the motors out. One of the cool things is they're coming up with this, which is... <laughs> I don't know Biang Toys, but you know how some of these companies are very similar to one another. And when you get into this thing and start looking at it, it's almost eerie how close it is. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what I'm doing. And like I said, when you look at that, that board and those controllers will fit inside this. So I'm not necessarily looking in to change this from the height altitude from the second board that I have in there. But that would be a neat project to get that stuff in and stick it in here and see how much better just to continue to upgrade it. But inevitably, if you guys have noticed, this over here, okay? Now, I'm not going to tell you what this is, but anybody that knows what they're talking about or knows what's been going on knows what this is for. And this goes inside now. That's the inevitability of this. So... To get something like that and just continue to upgrade it and make it better and better is, is fun. You know, if I can spend a, an, an, an inexpensive amount of money and get that because, you know, the whole shebang costs 99 bucks. I bet you by Christmas time, that number will be more like 60. So the board should be around 15. That controller should be around 15. And maybe those, those motor controls, maybe we don't need them. So maybe I just get the board and the transmitter see what the voltages are, the amperages, and go from there. I don't know. Maybe it's all one package, but that's part of the next project. Um, so that's it. Um, enjoy uh, the 4th of July weekend. And this is another video I'm about to do um, about uh, propellers and eye, eye protection. So that'll be one that um, you'll see here in a minute.